this is Alan from BMW Durham back again with another video. We have another new arrival. It's the 2025 BMW M4 competition Cabriolet LCI in Alpine white with the Tartufo Merino leather interior. All right, so this is the 2025 BMW M4 competition Cabriolet in Alpine white. So this is the LCI. I just tried filming that in 30 frames per second if we get that headlight animation on and it's not working well. So we're gonna try a couple other settings. So let me just put this back to 60 frames. All right, so we're back in 60 frames per second. This is the LCI. This thing is our first M4 LCI to arrive. Rear lasers are on. And you know what, um, before we even start looking at all the details, I think we really need to just put the top down. So I'm just gonna press and hold, this is the key. Unlock. All right, so now that the top is down, let me just do one more lap. Now you can see that awesome Tartufo interior. And now, let's look at all the details. Okay, so 2025 BMW M4 competition, Cabriolet, LCI. I'm just gonna hit unlock again, so headlights brighten up. They shimmer left and right. It's not showing up on the camera that well, but that's okay. So let's take a good look at the front end. The grill, lower apron, side reflector, all of that has not changed whatsoever. But the headlights have definitely changed. So these are the shadow line BMW LED headlights with the blue accents. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what the pathway lighting looks like, which turns on basically with the low beams. So there are a strip of L vertical LEDs on each side beside the chevrons. And of course we've got that outer light on there as well. I think that looks pretty good. Now when we come around to the side, you'll see that we have a 19 inch front, 20 inch rear, double spoke 826 M wheel in black with the blue M compound brake here. We've got M4 competition in black on the side fender here. Nice body lines, same as they were before. Nice fat rear quarter. Quick peek at those Tartufo seats. There's that rear 20 inch wheel. We also of course have M wing mirrors. They were always on the M car but here they are again, and now they've uh, trickled down to the M440. When we come to the back, the laser tail lights just have such a striking appearance. I love the way that they swoop and they kind of, the top one goes to the front, then we've got the next one here, so that's all really cool. And down below, we've got four exhaust pipes. We have the vertical reflectors on each side and we have the new M4 competition badging that has silver kind of uh, lining around it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and press the tailgate button here. There's also a micro switch here. And of course all the four series still have the rear camera built into the rondelle. So once I open that up, this piece here is down and it has to stay down because the top is down but if the top is up you could move this into an upper position to create a little bit more space we have a number of different floor mats and such down here there's a release lever so we can fold down the seats and the tire inflator kit is over here and we've got wheel lock key and this little netted area does come up from the factory they're always left down and then we've got a handle here so we can close this without touching the exterior of the car when we come around to the passenger side, 
This is where you find the fuel cap door. We're looking for 93 octane. BMW M recommends Shell V power. I popped this earlier. Just wanted to show you if I pull that down, that's where you're gonna find the wind deflector. So there's like these Kinder Surprise instructions down here on how to install it. There's a little clip here you have to lift up so it can come out. And when you place it back in here, you wanna put that down so it's locked into place. We also, of course, have the beautiful M color seat belts. And there's a nice gratuitous shot of the interior with the Tartufo merino leather seats. Um, in the back seating area, we've got some vents. There's more vents underneath the front seats. And I'm just gonna go ahead and open the passenger door real. All right, so if I open that door, you'll see that we've got Harman Kardon in here. Beautiful stitching across the entire door panel. Tartufo merino leather going across. Galvanic controls. Some space there in the door pocket. Aluminum M4 door sill. Again, the M seat belts. M4 does not have the seat belt butler. We also have the air scarves built in, as you can see, with the little holes there. So there's some hot air that can come out. M4 badging on the headrest that illuminates. Beautiful pattern here on those Tartufo seats. And it's full power with lumbar and side bolster. Now we've got this interesting new dash trim, which kind of looks like a matte gray. Down here, we have glove box space. And we've got this new design here for four series. So this vent design is a bit different. Probably we've got an ambient light under here as we saw in the M440i LCI. If I pop that open, we've got a wireless charger in there. Cup holders, 12 volt plug, USB type A. There's the M gear selector. Convertible top operation with air scarves for each side. If I lift this up, there's a USB type C charging port in there. Let's go take a look from the other side next. All right, so let me approach from the driver's side. If I open up that door, you'll see that we've got again, the Harman Kardon sound system is here. We have the beautiful door panel here with all the stitching, galvanic controls, all four windows at once, memory buttons, tailgate controls, M4 aluminum door sill, full power seat with lumbar and side bolster. And let me just get in here for a moment. So this is the new steering wheel with the 12 o'clock uh, red marker. We have M tricolor stitching around, flat bottom at the bottom here, M at six o'clock, M1 config, M2 config. So this is without the carbon fiber on here. We still got the nice leather airbag cover. And uh, up top here, we've got mirrors. Hello. Light turns on up here when you open the mirror. We've got the frameless rear view mirror here as well. And we also have BMW M specific iDrive 8. So that's all good. We also have the head up display here as well, which is nice. And I'm just gonna go ahead now and pop the hood so we can take a look at what is powering this beast. I'm sure you already know. So down here, it's two poles, one, two. So when we arrive to the front, there it is. The beautiful S58 3 liter inline six twin turbo. We have 523 horsepower and still 479 foot pounds of torque, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, we've got still got that nice triangular strut brace here, and we've got positive battery terminal, negative battery terminal, washer fluids over here. What a lovely engine bay! All right, so I'm going to do one more lap all the way around the car before we conclude the video. I think the car looks really good. I really do like a lot of the elements here from the LCI. I think with the headlights on or with the ignition on, you can fully see what the headlights should look like. It has a very menacing appearance with those headlights, that's for sure. And definitely from the back, those laser light tail lights definitely have a very striking appearance. Like that just looks awesome. 
Okay, so we've been warming up the car a whole bunch. Let's hear what this exhaust sounds like. Is there any difference on the 2025 M4 Comp? So that was my tour of this beautiful 2025 BMW M4 Competition LCI in Alpine white with the Tartufo Merino leather interior. Obviously this is the Cabriolet. I'm sitting in it now. It feels really great to have the top down. The weather's so nice today. So if you like the car, if you like the video, if you like me, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We'll have the pricing information in the description below. This vehicle is available now. Contact me if you're interested in having the first LCI M4 cab to come to our dealership. Um, please follow me on Instagram. It's at Alan BMW Durham. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.